A Jacksonville police officer remains in the hospital this evening in serious but stable condition. He was injured last night when he was hit by a truck while chasing a domestic violence suspect. The officer's name has not been made public. We just received this surveillance video. You can see just past the cars, the officer is running after the man. According to the sheriff's office, a suspect, this suspect, led the officer on a chase on 103rd Street on the west side late last night. The wanted man, 27-year-old Eric Smith, was arrested and appeared before a judge this afternoon. News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel tells us about his criminal history. Police blocked off this entire area of 103rd Street for hours after the officer was hit by a truck while chasing Eric Smith. He was suspected of strangling someone, but was currently out on bond for a different violent crime. A judge tells Eric Smith he's staying in jail and his bond is revoked on a prior charge. But I have found probable cause for a new arrest today. And Police say he led an officer on a chase. This surveillance video shows the officer running behind Smith on a sidewalk. Investigators say the chase ended with a truck hitting the officer on 103rd Street. Investigators say they initially responded to a domestic call where Smith was accused of strangling someone. You are to have no contact with the listed victim of this case. Records show Smith was already out of jail on a $100,000 bond for an armed burglary in October 2020. JSO filed a risk protection order against him, taking his gun away after the burglary. Neighbors saw the chaotic scene Thursday night where a nearby business captured surveillance video of police cars and fire trucks lining 103rd Street near California Avenue. I had to go all the way around the corner just, and, just to get to work. I mean, just to get home. It was very hectic. It was a lot. I didn't know what was going on. I hope everybody is okay. The officer was seriously hurt with several injuries to his lower body, according to police. Smith is now in Duval County Jail without bond. The driver of the truck did stay at the scene, according to JSO. Records show that Smith faces several charges now, including domestic battery and resisting a police officer. Reporting from the West Side, Corley Peel Channel 4, The Local Station.